Hello, Master Sergeant. It's Cadet Lokan. Today I will be presenting on the Ultra Lightweight Field Howitzer, uh, the UFH for short, uh, designated as the M777 in the U.S. Armed Forces. Uh, for starters, the M777 has been in use since the early 2000s. It is primarily used by the Army and Marine Corps to support infantry expeditionary forces. Uh, it's manufactured by Bay Systems. It was selected to replace the old M198 towed howitzer due to its lightweight, compact, and more maneuverable design while still maintaining a firepower. Uh, not only does the US use this, Canada, India, Australia, the UK, and of course NATO, they all have it in their arsenals. And by 2008, over 400 of the howitzers had already been shipped here and had been having personnel trained on them. Uh, and it has also been deployed in Afghanistan. The most recent news would be last year when it was formally inducted into the Indian Army in 2019. The M777 weighs in at about 7,500 pounds and it is a full length of 35 feet and a barrel length of 200 inches. Its primary material is its primary material composition is nearly all titanium and the howitzer is equipped with uh, a laser ignition system, uh, electric drives for its traversal and elevation, and as well as a powered projectile rammer. It requires a crew of eight people for to sufficiently operate it, but if you have well-trained personnel, it could also be operated by a crew of just five. Howitzer has uh, some surprising capabilities for how lightweight it is and how small it is compared to older versions. So it has a 155 millimeter cannon and it has a max range of about 40 kilometers and an accuracy of 10 meters with uh, the assistance of GPS. And it can use a variety of projectiles like unassisted rounds, rocket assisted rounds, and GPS guided projectiles. With a well-trained crew, it could have a fire rate of about 5 rounds per minute. And the piece can also be used during the day or night with its General Dynamics Armament Systems Towed Artillery Digitation System, or the TAD for short, which provides ballistic computation, navigation, and self-location to better help with the crew with accuracy. All in all, the Howitzer seems to have a long service ahead of it in the future, most likely being deployed to future military conflicts uh, all of these countries will most likely be in in the future. And uh, if any other cadets are looking into artillery, they will most likely, uh, will certainly run into the M777 uh, many times throughout their career.